very big on discipline yeah. in the school. And he has the cameras to prove it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Reed, that's a lovely ball. He missed a little Allen, but or Robinson rather, but he couldn't quite find Allen. Cassim Priestley picks it up. It was a lazy looking block there by Trayvon Reed. I believe that Calabar they are there or thereabouts. They are attacking. But they just need a little bit more composure. But I think it's going to be interesting once they switch halves. I was about to say they'll have the better half play. of the field to attack it. Yeah. Also, the better half to defend it. Because they are trying route one on several occasions, Calabar High. And I, and I reckon because of the surface, they have been pretty much unsuccessful so far. Sorry. <laughs> I think I just contradicted myself. Calabar actually have the worst end, the, 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 the worst end to defend it, but the better end to attack it. Free kick to KC. Sent in long. The back post. It's nodded away. Trayvon Reed guiding it into touch. Sent it inside the box. One again by KC. And they have kept on the pretty quiet so far in the first 40 minutes. That's excellent work. That wasn't excellent work in terms of the pass, but certainly the KC number nine, the main man from four goes to his name so far, Nika Allen. Calabar have defended well against him. They have crowded him, hit him out, they have starved him out, they have been used to get him the ball. And I think we probably need to see more from the likes of, of Trayvon Reed. And Robinson on the flanks in terms of channeling, channeling that ball into Allen. So good job by the home team so far. Choosy. Choosy. Manages to get it back. Oh, that's a late challenge there. The other card comes out. First of the game. Brandon Freckleton, the yep. first card of the game. Deservedly so. We did mention in the last game, Donald, that we have been seeing more and more centre-backs wearing the number nine. Here is another example. <laughs> it's it's makeshift. It really is makeshift. He usually plays striker for Calabar High, mm. but he's been, asked to play, he's, he's been asked to play a role today. Okay. That's what I'm saying. He's been asked to play that role today. And you could tell based on the fact that he was so late on the challenge. <laughs> what is it? Freaking to Kingston Here College. He is in the number nine, Freckleton. Just to confirm the other card, shown to Brendan Freckleton. As on the captain's armband as well. So, would it be Onika Allen or would it be Kasim Priestley? It is Onika Allen, straight to the keeper, who didn't know too much about that one. Surely that probably had a bit of swerve on it because. When Aldina Small really treated it like a hot fireball there. Oh, he's very lucky. What technique in terms of the hands? Look at look at where his hands are actually coming from the sides instead of being closed together to catch the ball. So if you don't get that exactly right, it's going to go through. As it did there, good thing his head was in the way. How does he cricket? Get your body behind the ball. <laughs> <laughs> so. He certainly had everything behind it, small. And luckily for him, the surface area was big enough to keep the ball out. Well, he has decided to change his gloves. I don't Let's think that that gloves. <laughs> I don't think that touched the gloves. So I think that went right through them. I just think the technique in terms of how his hands were preparing to to make the save was wrong. And even after it hit his head, he really didn't know what had happened. Luckily for him, it spun wide of the upright. And if I was Kingston College, I would have taken a lot more shots. Oh, good work between Thomas and 
Reed. No, it's with Allen. Should have taken the shot with the left foot. Had an opportunity to shoot, thought about it, decided not to. And on this uncertain surface, the option he took was always going to be difficult. Just didn't fit, just didn't look comfortable in terms of the footing on Ika Allen, but it's good to see from a KC perspective that they're finally getting him involved in some way or another. I thought he should have been selfish there and, and take, take, take the left-footed strike to the far post. So less than two minutes remaining in the half. Unless any time added for stoppages. Shouldn't be a lot though. Pusey. Now the clearance is made by Tremaine Simpson up towards halfway right. Long ball of field. Kicks on college. Could make them pay! Nico Allen has done it. That is fifth goal this season. The Calabar defenders could not respond to his speed. And Kingston College race ahead. 1 0. Well, we spoke about the need from a KC perspective in terms of getting Onika Allen involved. Defensive error from Calabar. And the one man that you wouldn't want that to fall to in the KC team, Onika Allen. Four goals before this. That is fifth. Clinical finish. Well composed, great speed, keeper beaten. That was a very cool finish. With ease, he dispatched that. The fame purples are ahead in this one. Bad defensive work by Calabar. They have been so good throughout the first 44 minutes. And to really go behind like that is unfortunate. It just be difficult to get back in this game out of our high. Kingston College, though, will be riding high. Getting that lead just before the halftime interval is also crucial. Beer, Lamar Eccleston, before he lost possession. So, not a lot of time remaining in this first half. May consider a long throw here to the edge of the box. The clearance made, and that is that for the first half. Calabar held on strong for most of it, but KC pounced at the very end of it. Onika Allen with the goal. The transferee from Monroe College has put Kingston College ahead in this battle of our rivals. KC won. Calabar high nil. school you kept Kingston College away for pretty much most of the game but the defense lapsed right there in the final minutes of the game conceded the goal how do you feel um I mean that's a hard goal to concede especially right before the half I mean it completely changes our halftime talk um I think for the first half we played a near perfect first half without scoring and then the last two minutes we right, conceded that goal is tough but we went out and is regroup and come again thank you so much thank you all right, Raymond Watson, assistant coach of Kingston College. You're smiling. You must be happy with that one goal, Nate. I'm very happy. I thought we played well. But Calabar had some lucky ins, but decisive moment, quick thinking, and a very good goal. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.
All right, we are at Calabar High School. It is one nil to the visitors, Kingston College. This is the ISA Manning Cup competition. We will be right back. Tremendous roll. Kingston College leading Calabar High by a goal to nil, and we're ready for the second half here. The question is, will Calabar be able to get back into this game? Kingston College with the advantage of course through Nico Allen strike in the 44th minute of play. And it's a home team which gets the action back on the way here in the second half. Already you see Calabar doing a little bit more running, a little bit more pressing. They really have to up the ante in this one. Last year, of course, when they met Kingston College had taken an early lead. Calabar did fight their way back in that encounter. That one ended at one apiece. Christina is still with me. I'm sure you'd love to hear his thoughts as to what Calabar they need to do to get things right in the second half. Well, one thing that's in their favor, they'll be attacking to the better end of the field. Um, the drier area, the area that's a bit more easy. Let's see if they can have some joy there. But I think they, good, they did a lot of good things in the first half, especially on the attacking and coming forward, looking to get numbers, penetrating the KC defense on a couple of occasions. Just a little bit rushed in terms of their finishing, albeit the surface wasn't the best. Where they need, really need to solidify themselves is in their defensive third. And especially goalkeeper Small, who has been a little bit iffy, as we like to say, so far. Here's Case T. Well, Kadabar attacking. Case T tried to defend the ball, played inside the box. He goes down a little bit too easily there. Goes behind for a corner kick to Kalabar High. That was uh, Javante Hoku inside the box. But again, you see Donald how easily Kalabar gets into those positions, and that's a worry for Kingston College. No great passes along the way, and yet they're inside the 18 yard box and nearly have a 10 ton goal. The corner kick comes in. Again, too much on it. It's, it's been just disappointing their deliveries most of this afternoon. I would like to think that Calabar would be would be confident in terms of being able to get back into this game based on the defensive work we've seen by Casey so far. Rodriguez has been solid, but just quite a bit, a little bit too much space in terms of the Kingston College defense being caught out, positioning not the greatest from the defensive unit, unit of the Purples, who lost all of their back line last season, especially with national record, reggae boy and representative Javain Brown, who was their captain for the last, what, two years? Yeah, he was pretty much their rock at the back. Number 17 played in their center back role. Was so good at the schoolboy level, he was elevated to the senior national team. And did pretty well there as well. Also, uh, Shakes, um, Javier Brown is a centre back partner. Oh, the ball has gone through to Trayvon Reed. Reed inside the box. Trayvon Reed, delightful finish. That's his third this season. He showed all the guile and skill and speed. And of course, in the end, precision. And Kingston College lead Calabar by two goals to nil. We're just like that, attacking at one end, Calabar. But we spoke about their disorganization at the end of the first half in terms of their defensive unit. And it's cost them again. Poor defensive work, being caught out. Look at that. That was poor in terms of covering. And Trevon Reed, who has experience at the Premier League level with Tivoli Gardens, showed all that composure here. And look at that. That's great skill. Just to dink it over the goalkeeper, small. Could have easily missed kick that. And an excellent finish for his third of the season. And the Calabar shooting themselves in the foot 
for want of a better term, they're down to nil at home. But I think they're probably aiming a little bit higher there, as Onika Halid is outside. But how does Calabar recover from this? There's Reed. His third goal of the season. What a finish it was. Rasan Rowe, who was, that's him taking the kick there. Really poor defensive effort by him. At the end of the first half, he was brought, involved in a mistake as well. And there, just a total miss kick, not balancing himself, not taking the time to clear the ball. The young number 18 from, from Calabar. And that's what cost, cost them that goal. Calabar, they really now have to be careful to monitor this game. If they are too stretched, KC will literally kill them off. As far as this contest is concerned, they lead by two goals here at Kingston College. It's still very much a dangerous scoreline if you let back the opposition in. But they're looking for a third. It's a delightful ball inside! But the finish was a bit off, and it's a goal kick. Great delivery by Trevon Reed. Getting a goal, now coming alive. We spoke about the importance of him to this KC unit based on his experience, and that we needed to see more from him. Well, here is an example. We've seen a goal, then a beautiful delivery like this, and that should have been finished. Was it with Ronaldo Robinson? Yep, it was. His opposite flank teammate scored eight goals last season, did Ronaldo Robinson. He scored one so far this season. Yeah. Scored in the 8 nil rubbing of the noon. It's a hard collision. Lebar Eccleston feeling the effects. Will feel worse considering he's down by two goals to nil as well. Dealer and Miller. The partnership, the coaching partnership. Jordan Miller, of course, the son of the Reverend Al Miller. I suggest that they need a word of prayer now to get back into this contest. They have a free kick just inside Kingston College's half. So long kick inside the box. Keeper hesitated. Oh, and he let it slip, but there was a foul committed here. It was cleared off the line regardless. By Tremaine Simpson. But Rodriguez has been excellent so far. He's been really good with his hands, especially, and in terms of his bravery and his, his commitment in terms of coming for the ball. And he was. He comes here. Is it his own defender that causes a problem? I think it is. I don't think it's an infringement there. It's Tremaine Simpson, the same player who clears it off the line, the Kingston College number three, who gets in the way of his own goalkeeper. Well, well, as you uh, said, he did, clear, he did clear it off the line in the end, so it's not as if they converted it. Oh, that's a shot. That swoop was heading into the top corner, but again, Rodriguez is so tall, that he managed to pluck it out of the air, denying Shamor Tomlinson that effort on target. He is very tall, John. Lanky as well, I think. make him what? Could he be about six foot already? Yeah, I think he's about 6'3". Probably even taller. Yeah, probably 6'3 or Calabar, they are trailing by two goals to nil, but they're taking their time 
about this? Inside the box. Chance here for Kalapar. Oh, he has skied it. Chadri Coombs inside the area has skied that effort. And it's another big chance for Kalabar. But they could not convert. Should have done a lot better coups in Kalabar number eight. And that was a glorious opportunity for them to half the scoreline. Look at this. Well, that's a clearance by the central midfielder. He actually got chest onto the goal, which made it more difficult because then you have to allow the ball to come down a lot more, which case he wouldn't have allowed it. Should have stayed sideways and look to maybe make a horizontal attempt at the shot. Harder technique, but probably would have been more successful. Great chance. Again, we see opportunities being allowed in the KC 18-yard box. Williams, who kicks on college. Reed. So as well, Trayvon Reed. Hasim Priestley. Priestley plays it forward. It's now with Onika Allen over the top. Again, the Calabar defense, sixes and sevens. So Nick Allen could not keep that one down. That's uh, to Campbell, warming up for Kingston College. Yeah, we did. call him Scarlet. Yeah, we spoke about the fact that Casey do have talent on the bench. Here is one of them. We also have Jamari Morrison, who is a number 15, who excellent left-footed player. And don't be surprised if he is involved in short order as well. You think Kingston College they found their best 11, is it? Good question. You like to think that those two would have been in it. But there has been a rotation system, rotational system, employed so far by Lolo Gunnar. Two different teams used in both of their previous games. So, so this may not be their best at the back as we see Kalabar getting ready to make a couple of changes as well. Well I think the back is where they have less options Casey. <laughs> I think they lost all of their senior players that played in those positions so I think a lot of their senior players are in the attacking positions. Hence Morrison and Campbell. Sent inside the box. Calabar again, look uncomfortable at the back. They're going to be making a couple of changes shortly. Calabar high. And we hope that they can change the scoreline for the better for them. Navarro Thomas, their number seven, is getting ready to come on. Roshane Williams, their number 10, is also getting ready to come on for. And those Calabar. are the two players you were surprised weren't starting. Yeah. So they are both getting involved now. I guess desperate times for Calabar down by two goals to nil at home. Thomas has a goal behind his name so far, scoring a 3 0 victory against Danun. 
Rashid Williams, he'll be wearing the number 10. There he is. What can they bring to the floor? Shamar Tomlinson, the number 11, is off for Calabar. They have just over half an hour to make a difference. Here's Allen. If we're really honest about it so far. Nathan Thomas. This is one inside the box. Robinson can't keep it in. So go kick to Calabar. Okay. Just to confirm that Williams came on for Tomlinson who did have a quiet game for Calabar. I was about to say that apart from those two errors in the Calabar defense, the game has been pretty competitive, but neither team has been really impressive. Well, especially defensively. Yeah. Chevron Messi Marsh, formerly of Calabar, supporting his old school. We don't be too pleased with the score. Did score a couple of fantastic goals at the schoolboy football level, did Chevron Marsh, earning his nickname Messi at that level at any rate. So many so called Messi's nowadays. Here comes Casey. All played inside the box looking for Nathan Thomas. Here's a shot by Tingling. He's charged down there because he's increasingly trying to get the foot in. Henry laid it off. Long ball intercepted. Priest to Back there mopping up. Calabar player is down and is going to get some attention now. Lamar Eccleston was the one who went down. Well, actually, that, that isn't that standard. That looks to be DeAndre Burris. Well, there is Neville Oxford. We spoke about the 1964-65 Kingston College team with John P. Harris. He was another big member of that team, Neville Oxford, former Nationals um, player as well, in the purple shirt with the white cap. Of course, there are two gentlemen in pictures. So he's the one with the purple shirt and the white cap. Right of screen. And very knowledgeable player in football and good to see him supporting his purple and white and they are the six farmers of Kingston College they are supporting their team as well uh, he will need all the support he can get <laughs> down and injured at the moment with DeAndre Burris not sure exactly Burris. what happened with him here let's take a look at the goals and Onika Allen with a good finish 
laps at the back there by Calavar. A handful of goals this season so far. Yeah, that was his fifth. And that was just a, a neat little dink, was what you call it, Christiana. Trayvon Reed with his third. Nephew of Roger Reed. Yeah. Trayvon Reed and three for the season. He was a number 10 this year. Said he never saw Roger Reed play, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, Based uh, on age. Yeah. yeah. But very much in his mold. Looks like him. Roger Creed, of course, a former national player as well. Yeah, former reggae boy. Mm -hmm. Excited player. Similar speed, similar skill. As yeah, his uncle. Flank as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It is of Roger Creed and Hector Wright. <laughs> Those are the days. Uh, he had a fabulous left foot, didn't he, Hector Wright? Certainly. Brilliant. Here is confirmation of the change. Dwayne Atkinson is in for Ronaldo Robinson. Atkinson also a goal scorer in the 5 0 victory against Clan Carthy on Casey's last outing. Yes. Here he is, the number 13, Atkinson. Yes, yeah, he there's Dwayne Atkinson heading inside the area, but the second touch wasn't the best as he did the give and go with Trayvon Reed. I wonder if he's really related to Ajay Atkinson. Because Ajay played for Kingston College, same speedy player. Good question. trying to get by his marker almost does heading towards the byline and uh, well, he was manhandled in the end wasn't he he's going to be a throw into Caravan I think that Simpson actually pushed him off the ball as well lucky he didn't get a, lucky to get away with a no foul call Kalaba will go for the long throw yet again. <laughs> long throw for Kalabar at the back post. Excellent throw. Towards the back post in that penalty spot region. Well, we did say we wondered if Chris Jonas would come on at some point. He is no one for Burroughs. Players, Kings and number four for Calabar, mm -hmm. Chris Jonas, who cost his, his his side a goal against Mola. They eventually lost the game by a goal to nil. Their first match of the season, Calabar. And it was a no goal for Jonas. Let's see how he performs today. Well, Casey's number four, Nathan Thomas, finding Jamal Pusey. Pusey playing in a right back position for Kingston College. Of course, he's returning from. Neighbors at St. George's College, who are just across the road. Jamal Pusey. Played for Casey originally, then went to St. George's, now back at Kingston College. And playing in a right back position. Unusual. Most of the times we've seen him in a much more attacking role. And probably on the left hand side as well. There he is, Jamal Pusey, in the number 20. Which I notice is getting ready to go on. He's another good score for Kadapar. Actually, scored in that 3-0 uh, win over Danone, it was. Which I have to notice. It's been the only game Calabar, well, <laughs> unless you're talking about the old goal, it's the only game that Calabar scored in so far.
Lamar Eccleston is out. There is a confirmation. Notice for Eccleston. Notice for Eccleston, he said. Well, I hope he collects it. <laughs> Here's a free kick. Workings at college. Sent too long. But the keeper completely misread that one. Well, talk about being the player to watch, Ronaldinho Small. Well, he's been a very lucky campaigner this afternoon in terms of his blunders. Three blunders, none of course his team at goal yet. And Jamari Morrison is getting ready to come on. The fact that he uh, allowed that ball to bounce in my book makes it a, a bad blunder. Agreed. The ball did take an awkward bounce, but his certainly reading of the play wasn't good. Atkinson is there, but it didn't quite reach him. Calabardi just managed to clear their lines. Jamari Morrison still waiting on the sidelines to get on the park. We did say we would more than likely see him today, Jamari Morrison. Very dangerous left foot. Trevor Tingling, who is coming off. In the elite league as well. Yeah. Jamari Morrison. Tingling, yeah. Not a bad performance. Not an outstanding one today either for Tingling. Not sure that many KC performances that happened and would be saying that they had an excellent game. Even though they are leading by two goals today. Oliver said to make a next change shortly. In fact, they're going to do it now. Andre Chana will be coming on. And he is on for Giovanni Thomas. Both coaches reading the changes. Teams, of course, in the... It's a schoolboy football competition. In Jamaica can make up to five changes a match. A lovely ball to Atkinson, trying to find Morrison, and Calabar they managed to clear. Atkinson, speedy. Confirmation of Chana for Thomas. Allen, a weir at the byline. Onika Allen. Kasim Priestley. Morrison. His effort is charged down. Williams will pick it up when the flag has gone up for our side. Can you see more ambitious going up? They've been caught outside on four occasions so far in this one. Dwayne Atkinson, Trayvon Reed is trying to sneak his way along that byline, gets a corner kick for his team. Let's see the third one for Kingston College now. They're still sending players up, looking to wrap this one up. Morrison with the header, and well, what was Small doing? Well, it's still in play. Cleared off the line and again off the crossbar. Now another shot from distance. He hands on just Small. But there were a couple of big opportunities there for Kingston College to wrap up this one as a contest. But to be honest, Dana, he's been the player to watch, but for the wrong reasons. But here's Calabar. Can they pull one goal back? It would really make this one interesting. 
skipping by one challenge, but he did get the boot in. And only just remained Simpson. It goes behind for a corner kick as we take a look at the replay. What is the keeper doing small? He slides back in. <laughs> like an ice skater. Ooh, he would have been late in any case. That ball would have gone into the back of the net, even with his slide. Then luckily it hit the crossbar for him and then finally he snuffed out the final attempt. Small. Huh, it was Kasim, a very lucky man today. Kasim Priestley, it was his effort that took a deflection and came off the crossbar. He still has get it together. Looks a bit nervous. Small. Corner kick to Calabar to keep a close rate and collects it. And Rodriguez has been the opposite. He's been excellent. Yeah. In terms of his command of his area. Very good hands, Rodriguez. I think he's that great in terms of his kicking ability, but certainly his hands and the way he takes care of his six yard area has been excellent. Brave as well. Thomas gathers that one. 59% possession for Kingston College. No surprise. We did say at the start of the game, you would expect that Kingston College would dominate possession. I don't think Calabar had, would have had a problem with that once they once they took their chance when they got them, as we see another call. Infringement. Jamar Marston has been quite busy since coming on. His red and yellow boots. There he is on the ball. Oh, nice pass. Yeah, beautiful one to Atkinson. Atkinson! Oh, yes! It's over now. Three goals. Three points. Dragon rights. KC3. Calabar nil. We spoke about the influence of Jamari Morrison. There we see it again. And a lovely slip pass with the left boot. Great movement, here it is. Oh yes, beautiful. Into the park of Atkinson. He looked up his body really well, Atkinson, to double his tally for the season, the number 13 from Kingston College. Good composure to just place that with the left boot into the far triangle. No chance for Small. And not even allowed to make a mistake this time, Small. Great from Atkinson, two on the season, three to KC. And I think the current call is about to happen. Like a hot knife through butter. They really went through that Calabar defense. And here they come again. They now want to scream a statement. Atkinson losing possession though. Calabar through Uchen to notice. This time certainly that third goal was not a defensive error. There was just good play from Kingston College. Great attacking play, good movement. And good vision, good finishing as well. Nevada Thomas, left a foot in there, referee telling him to calm down, and then Simpson, should be okay though, as we take another look at that, that was something earlier, which happened to Trayvon Reed, but uh, Trayvon Simpson trying to walk it off, well, here we see Campbell up off the bench again. Yeah, that was uh, Renato Campbell, otherwise known as Scarlett, up off the bench. He might yet get some play. criticized a bit at the start of the season in terms of his weight game. It's, it's, not, it's something that we've seen with some of the Kingston College players over the years. I remember Fabian Grant last season, certainly they, they went oh, yeah. spent some Rins time in the US. Well. Yeah. Oh, what a turn by Onika Allen. Ball at the back post! And they could not keep it out! As Atkinson gets his second of the contest! Wayne Atkinson 
Jackson turning out to be the super sub at Kingston College. What a statement this is. 4-0 over Calabar. Again, goalkeeper small. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's doing. He's running too far. It was a great delivery into the box. Yes, Atkinson did head the ball down, but Small, where are you running to? He's running left the goal, Donald. And there was no recovery for him, so the bounce beat him. Great for Atkinson. He has a hat trick of goals for the season. Three, two in this game. And Casey Boy really making the scoreline get embarrassing. Well, the change that we had suspected is about to happen. Renata Campbell in the number eight is going to get some playing time. He's about to come in. So is James Javon. With three changes. Yeah, they're really reading the changes. They made two before. This will be the final three. James, James Javon, I believe, is coming up. So Campbell for, for Nathan Thomas. Thomas, as you said, the Kante slash Makalele mm -hmm. of this KC team. Renita Campbell, a senior member of this Kingston College team over the last couple of seasons. And you'd like to think when his fitness is back in order, he'll be a main man in this unit as well. And DeAndre Bowen, the number 24, is also getting ready to come on for, for Kingston College. So they have maxed out their changes. I, I think they have. All five have now been made by Kingston College. Trevon Reed gets a rest, scored a goal, almost assisted a second. The number 10. Allen is still on the park, is he? And Simpson is, has also gotten a rest. Tremaine Simpson. The number three. Here's Casey again. That arm goes into touch. But it's about that time of the game to discuss the MVP. Nico Allen has scored a goal and he has assisted. Atkinson has come on as a sub and scored two goals. Chadine Rodriguez, well, he hasn't really been tested, right? Yeah, well, he hasn't been tested today. Not greatly. I'm thinking of Allen. Daniel Williams also has had a really good game for Kingston College. They're number two. That's That's nobody great. to me with any great performances. I'd like to think, though, that Atkinson... He, we can only talk about the time he's been on the field. He's come on, he's scored two. He's taken both goals well. One with the left foot placed into the far corner. Another with the header. So it could very well be Atkinson. The game isn't finished just yet. Maybe Onika Allen has a couple of surprises. But I'd like to think that those two, though. Yeah. I agree with you that Rodriguez has shown great signs, but he hasn't really been tested. No, he has made yeah. no big attempts on Rodriguez. Exactly. So it would have to be Atkinson or Allen. Allen has scored a goal and he provided Atkinson with a second as well. And he has been a nuisance for most of the game for the Calabar defense. Trevon Reed also scored a goal. And Trevon Reed was a out of the game for too much of it for my liking but did score an excellent goal second yeah. for KC to be honest Allen has been in and out of the game as well but he did take a good goal he did convert a great chance 
and he did create another one. That, that cross into the box was excellent for the head up by Atkinson. But granted, in both goals, Atkinson still had quite a bit of work to, be, to, to do, and we've seen many of those missed. And so did Ronaldinho Small. <laughs> a ball inside the box looking for Allen. Allen? He really has been a workhorse today. Delightful ball looking for Morrison. Here's Cassie Priestley. Really? Yeah, ambitious. Yeah. I wonder if 17 is a new number for the captain of KC. We saw Javain Brown was 17 and his time at Kingston College. He was a captain in his tenure there. And now Kasim Priestley, who wore a different number last season, has now taken over the armband. He now adopts the, or adopts the number 17 as well. Hmm. Maybe we can ask Ludlow Bernard is that, if that's the plan. We know Jamaica College. I thought it's seven. Number seven. Yes. There's something with seven. <laughs> Sevens and seventeen. There's Brother Bernard. Right. Well, it's not clear properly. Now Casey's at ease. Offside though. Against James Zabon. So have we decided on Anika Allen as the man of the match? I guess we have. Take Chris it. Taylor Take gives it. me a, a shrug of the shoulder. Well, I think it would be a flip of a coin, really, it would between be. himself and, and Atkinson. Atkinson has played a lot less time than him, but <laughs> might have had more effect in the end. But... Yeah, Allen has had a good game. In fact, that is deflected through, but we get started from all the way, though. Well, he did come on and score the goals when Kingston College were comfortable. But he didn't put himself, I mean, he still had a lot of work to do, as you said, so... Yes, the pressure wasn't on, but still. Not sure if Casey were really under any pressure at any point, actually. So they definitely wanted that first goal which Nico Allen provided just before the halftime interval. Inside the box, headed away. There's Trevor Reed, who scored a goal, scored a second goal for Kingston College, now on the bench. So put in a good work, Reed workload today. Scored his third of the season. Atkinson scored his second and third of the season and Allen is fifth. I think he's in some trouble here. I think he's in some trouble here. Oh my goodness. They are asking the medical staff to rush onto the field because he's in some serious trouble here and he can't move. You can see the Probably at this dislocation here. Yep. And this is really unfortunate. There's a bulge there. It could be a broken foot, actually. And it might not be a dislocation. It might be a broken shin bone. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Is it a dislocation of the knee? Or is it the bone? But he was he was really calm on the, on, after all of that. He really was calm. But when the other player came across, he was absolutely frantic and signaled to the bench right away. It's a shin. It's a shin. It's a shin bone. 
I can tell you, it might have been reacted very differently had it been the knee. <laughs> yeah. Um, unfortunate. But I, you never really want to see a player getting injured, certainly in this way. He's, he's been a real soldier about it, though. Yeah, he has Bro, been. He's been very brave. I know I'm not a doctor, but actually, look, the fact that you could see the bone, it actually looked almost like a complete fracture. Yeah. Try to remember the description of that fracture when it actually completely breaks. A clean break? No, <laughs> no they, they, they certainly the different kind of fractures. Yeah. Right. Shut up. For example, here line would be a kind of fracture. Yeah. yeah. Four minutes of time to be added on. Kanaba actually made all their changes, I believe. And if so, they'll certainly have to continue with just 10 men. Yeah. They probably want this game to be over very, very soon. Although they do have the free kick to the forward to now. Can they get a confirmation? That's a question. Charlie Rodriguez making sure that his ball is set up properly. And it's going to be Brandon Freckleton. Freckleton decides to lay it off and the shot is charged down. And so few tried to let that one in. Freckleton was in October. We were just hearing from the medical staff that it's actually a knee dislocation. Yeah, that's the, that, that's the confirmation from the ambulance that it's actually a knee dislocation and not a broken shin bone. That might actually be better. Yeah, but he didn't have any reaction that. at all, yeah. as if he wasn't feeling any pain. It didn't look at first like a dislocation of the knee, but that's what they're saying. So. Hopefully the, the doctors can slip it back in for some better term. And, but there will be some form of recuperation. I'm sure that's at least six to eight weeks. extending my knee once and that was extremely painful so I can just imagine the dislocation here my producer was mentioning in my ear if I was watching TV at the time when I dislocated my knee no I was simply seeing a concert I would ask <laughs> no Michael Jackson is one of the idols well he is he is rest in peace <laughs> well, I have a dislocated left shoulder, so I can tell you, it's one of the most painful injuries, especially when it's out. Hence dislocation. Okay. <laughs> so, All right. I, I think Ro was very brave about it. If, if, that is, if that is actually his injury, he, just surprisingly, he wasn't holding his knee. He was actually holding his, his, his leg, his shin area. But very unfortunate. Let's hope he recovers soon. But I think the first reaction would that you'll be frightened more than anything else. Well, the time has expired. We've actually into the 96th minute. They were only supposed to play four minutes of extra time, but due to the injury... Well, it's up now. And the Calabar will be relieved that it's all over. Because Kingston College came to Redlands Road, and indeed they conquered. Four goals to their name, three points in the bag, Eternal rivals, but really and truly on the park. 
So it's only going to be one winner based on the type of game and play which we saw today here at Calabar High. Full time score Calabar High 0, Kingston College 4. Four goals one for Anika Rallin, one for Trevon Reed. And two for substitute Dwayne Atkinson, 44th, 49th, 77th, and 79th minute. And it wrapped up a sublime performance for Kingston College. Not very impressive in at certain moments, but once they got their chances in front of their goal, they certainly converted. And here is the first of them. It started with a defensive error from Calabar. And you see it there. Just bad marking and it let in Onika Allen, who has scored four before this. And that is fifth goal of the season, came in the 44th minute. Poor defensive work by the team in the green and black. An excellent finishing by Onika Allen, who sat out a year coming from Monroe College and playing in the Costa Cup. His first season in the Manning Cup, look at that speed. Explosive from the Kingston College number nine, and that would make it one. They're going to the half at that scoreline. This, the start of the second half. Poor work by Rowe. We will have an unfortunate incident later on, but Trevor Reed certainly made the most of this opportunity. Plays for Tivoli in the Premier League, the nephew of former reggae boy Roderick Reed, and that was a clinical finish by the Kingston College number 10. His third of the season that came after 49 minutes, and Casey weren't finished yet. Substitute Dwayne Atkinson came onto the park and received a beautiful pass by Jamari Morrison. Opened up his body, looked well, and finished excellently with the left boot. Atkinson, that was his second of the season after 77 minutes. And just look at how he placed this beautifully to the right of Small, into the far corner. And Atkinson had more in store for us. It would come two minutes later from a lovely delivery by Onika Allen on the far post, headed down, and Small out of position, well beaten. KC4. Calabar nil. That was after 79 minutes. Just look how he headed down into the ground. That was smart play by Atkinson. And small, unfortunately, out of position yet again. 